this is a fun thing to play with. You can do all kinds of designs. So plasma is the fourth state of matter. So can somebody name the first three states of matter? Solids, liquids, gases. This is that fourth state of matter that's a little bit weird. This is called plasma. And so how this works is we take that electricity out of the wall and because it's alternating current, we can transform it to be high voltage and give it more energy. And when we do that, what happens is we create a plasma. And this particular plasma ball has got some gases in it so it lights up in different colors. So we've taken all the air out of the ball and we put in two gases, one called neon and one called xenon. And neon is, you know, everybody remembers the big neon lights and they're kind of pinky red, right? So that's the red that you see is the neon gas. And the sun of turquoise is the xenon gas. Now, same thing's going on here that when electricity is energized high in this state, it's looking for some place to go back home or get neutral. And that's Mother Earth of the ground in this case. Now, because the, the dome itself is the only thing that's really in the air around it, so that's the nearest thing it has to ground. However, if I offer my hand, I'm a better ground path because my body's full of fluid and I'm standing on the ground. So when I offer my hand, the plasma arc is preferential to my body because I'm a better conducting path than the air itself. But it has no function. This is like show and tell, it's a play toy. It doesn't really have a function. You see a lot of this kind of stuff on sci-fi movies, especially if you're a Star Trek fan. The board charging stations have always got some sort of a plasma display. Very cool, looks really cool in the movies. Now, what I want to show you also is that there is energy, electrons at a very, very low current going through that in my body. So I'm going to hold a fluorescent tube. This is a small one, it's like a four watt tube. And as I get close to the plasma globe, you're going to see it's going to start to glow because energy is actually going through there, energizing this gas in the fluorescent tube going through my body and back to the earth. Now, I sense nothing because the energy and the current is so, so low. But it does prove that we are sending current through that glass through me, okay?